The Indian armed forces are considered to be the largest and the most powerful in the world. Today, the world is fully aware about the strength of new India's armed forces. The strength of Indian armed forces can be gauged from the fact that they can destroy the enemy with modern warfare and armaments within a span of a few minutes. Indian Army is known for doing what it says. Keeping in mind the goal of Atmanirbhar Bharat, the Indian Army is setting new benchmarks every day. Let us now look at how India's defence sector has emerged stronger in 2022. It was on June 14 that the Indian government announced the Agnipat scheme. Today, we see that lakhs of youth are putting in applications to become Agniveers. The objective of the scheme is to empower the youth and make them self-reliant. Know about the features of the Agnipat scheme. The youth will be employed in either of the three armed forces for a period of four years. They would be called Agniveers and will be compensated well. The age criteria for an Agniveer is 17.5 to 21 years. The duration of the training will be 10 weeks to 6 months. Aspirants studying in 10th and 12th standards will be eligible to apply. Annual package will be 4.76 lakh rupees and this will increase to 6.92 lakh rupees in the fourth year of service. Agniveers will be paid risk and hardship allowance. After four years of service, Agniveers will receive a retirement fund of 11.7 lakh rupees each and it will be non-taxable. At the end of four years of service, 25% Agniveers will be retained in their respective forces and the rest will retire. It was on September 2, 2022, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi handed over India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, to the Indian Navy. With this, India has made its way into the list of those nations which can indigenously manufacture such big ships. INS Vikrant is an important milestone in India's path to achieve self-reliance. Know about the key features of INS Vikrant. It is built at a cost of Rs 20,000 crores. This aircraft carrier is 262 meters long and has a breadth of 62 meters. It has a maximum speed of 28 knot. It consists of about 2,200 compartments. 30 aircrafts can operate at one go from this warship. INS Vikrant is 75% indigenously built. Prime Minister inaugurated the Indian Navy's new ensign on September 2, 2022, in a bid to do away with India's colonial past. Taking inspiration from the seal of Indian Emperor Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, this new ensign depicts steadfastness. Know about the changes made to Indian Navy's flag. The St. George's Cross has been removed from the Indian Navy's new flag. It now features the national emblem with the tricolour on the upper canton. The national emblem is encompassed by an octagonal shield and sits atop an anchor. Beneath it is the Navy's motto, Sham No Varunaha. The octagonal shield determines Indian Navy's might in all the eight directions. The year 2022 was significant for the Indian Armed Forces as a new CDS was appointed after the tragic demise of General Bipin Rawat in 2021. On September 28, 2022, Lieutenant General Anil Chauhan took over as India's second CDS. Lieutenant General Chauhan had served in Gorkha Rifles and he was part of the team that planned the Balakot air strike. He retired in 2021.
indigenously developed light combat helicopter Prachand got inducted into the Indian Air Force inventory on 3rd October 2022 Prachand became the first attack helicopter to be developed by HAL Know about the key features of LCH Prachand It has been built at an estimated cost of rupees 3885 crores Various kinds of missiles and arms can be loaded on it It can fly continuously for 3 hours and 10 minutes. It has a range of 550 kilometers. It has the ability to not get caught by the radar owing to the solid defense system. It can attack at night and also land safely in emergency situations. The year is about to end and with this Indian Air Force received its last and 36th Rafale fighter aircraft from France. It was in September 2016 that France and India had signed a deal worth rupees 59000 crores. In July 2021 India got its first Rafale aircraft. Let us know the important features of Rafale. It can reach a height of 60000 meters in a minute. It has a firing range of 3700 kilometers. It can carry a load of 24500 kg at one go. It can fly for 60 hours in a single flight. The speed of Rafale fighter is 2223 kilometers per hour. It has an air to surface range of 300 kilometers. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh handed over INS Mormugao to the Indian Navy. The warship is indigenously built and is loaded with latest arms. It is one of the most lethal warships. With the induction of INS Mormugao, Indian Navy's presence will increase in the Indian Ocean and the security of the border areas in the sea will also be strengthened. Let us see how lethal INS Mormugao is. This warship is 163 meters long, 17 meters wide and weighs 7400 tons. The warship is equipped with a variety of highly advanced sensors, cutting edge radar and is laid with surface to surface and surface to air missiles, rocket and torpedo launchers. These weapons are used for anti-submarine warfare. Even during adverse weather conditions, the navy helicopters can land without any difficulty. It also has 127 mm gun. It consists of an AK630 anti-missile gun system. 